Hey guys, Bart from TST Industries here. Today we're going to show you how to install a TST Industries Gen 2 LED flasher relay on a 2012 and up CBR 1000RR. So on this particular bike, the mirrors have been eliminated and uh, the procedure for removing uh, the block offs here will be exactly the same as with the mirrors, except for the fact that if you still had the mirrors on, you would have to undo the wiring in addition to what we're gonna do here. So let's remove the nuts from the bottom of uh, the block offs here. All right, so the following step will be to remove the screws from your windshield. What I like to do is just loosen them with a tool here and turn them out by hand. Now we will work the windshield out of the fairing. What you want to do is clear the mirror attachment points on the fairing and flex the fairing away from the windshield just a little bit to clear the tabs that hold it in place in these two holes and remove the windshield. In the following step, we're going to remove <clears throat> the fairing cover from underneath the bike here. It has three rivet type fasteners, one here and one and one here. What you need to do is turn it out with a Phillips screwdriver and then you can remove it. Okay, now we can take down this fairing cover here. So in this next step, we will be removing the fairing fasteners here and also in the same uh, locations on the other side of the bike. We'll start with this fairing fastener here. Move on to the top right here. Let's walk over to the other side. Now we will proceed to the removal of the fasteners for these uh, ram air duct covers. There is one in the front and one in the rear here. What I'd like to do is start with a regular 
Phillips screwdriver, sort of a cumbersome fit in there. So what I do is I will loosen it first. And then I use a Phillips bit for a screw gun and I will turn it out until the screw comes out. Now we will do the same thing to the other side of the bike. Okay, now we can move on to the removal of the Ram Air covers. You will need to pull away on your side fairing here, and um, then you will grab the Ram Air duct cover and pull it backwards. These tabs are interlocked with these tabs here and the way to unlock them is to move this whole piece back and pull it out. We'll do that on both sides. All right, so now we will have to clear the uh, upper fairing from the mid fairing. Just make sure that it's cleared from the mirror mounts here. And then we will unlatch um, this one latch here from the headlight. We'll do that on the other side of the bike. And uh, now we can pry it away mid fairing here. And uh, that allows us enough access to get to this bolt. We'll now need to remove that bolt. We'll do that on the other side as well. So now in the next step, we will need to unseat the upper fairing and headlight assembly off the fairing bracket here. What you need to do is just move it forward slightly just to have enough access behind, uh, behind here. You don't want to pull on it excessively. It will strain plastics and things like that. And um, now your OEM relay sits right here in a keeper and uh, you can just slide it out in this direction and uh, you will need to peel back this boot and uh, to remove the relay, press down on this tab here and just pull it right back. So now you can grab your TSD Industries Gen 2 relay and reinstall it the same fashion the OEM relay was installed and put the boot back over it now you could slide this clip into the OEM keeper. Now you just seat your, uh, your headlight and upper fairing assembly back in place. Make sure everything is lined up correctly and it is here. You can now proceed to reinstalling everything in the reverse order of this assembly and then you're ready to ride.